Today, we're delving into a pressing health concern, sweeping across African nations, the outbreak of the MPOX virus. Recently, the respected academic journal, Science issued a stern warning about the rapid spread of the MPOX virus, initially reported in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This virus has since reached Uganda and Kenya and poses a risk of spreading further across the continent. Since the beginning of this year, around 14 Tutun 50 cases have been confirmed across South Africa with more than 450 deaths. The case fatality rate is nearly 5%. DRC accounts for over 96% of the MPOX virus cases. In response, the World Health Organization is on high alert. Growing distress about the outbreak has prompted HOHU to consider declaring it an international health emergency. Director General Tedros has announced the potential formation of an International Health Regulations Emergency Committee. Dr. Tedros emphasized the ongoing efforts to enhance prevention measures against the MPOX virus. In collaboration with the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a pivotal health agency of the African Union. However, he also highlighted a significant hurdle, the lack of adequate funding to implement comprehensive prevention strategies. To combat this, the Permanent Representatives Committee of the African Union has allocated $10.4 million from existing COVID funds to the Africa CDC, bolstering their resources to fight this outbreak. But what exactly is the MPOX virus? Often known as monkeypox, this viral infection can cause symptoms ranging from skin rashes and fever to headaches. It's a contagious disease that spreads between animals and humans, typically lasting between two to four weeks. The MPOX virus is not just a local threat, but a global concern. Due to its capacity to cause severe health complications, like pneumonia, corneal infections leading to vision loss, and even inflammation of vital organs, prevention is crucial, primarily through avoiding contact with infected individuals and vaccination. For those particularly at risk, like individuals with HIV or weakened immune systems, the stakes are even higher. As the situation develops, staying informed and prepared is key. For more updates and in-depth coverage of global health issues, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.